this is Tristan at Hip Cooks in West Los Angeles, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make pancakes. Okay, so I have all my ingredients here for pancakes, and let's get them in our lovely boo bowl. Two cups of all-purpose flour. I like to use the unbleached, just less chemicals. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon baking soda. I have a half a teaspoon of salt and three tablespoons of granulated sugar. And I'll just give that a quick mix. My whisk, okay. Uh, two eggs. It's best to have all of your ingredients at room temperature. So my eggs and buttermilk here have been sitting out for about a half hour to come to room temperature. And I have three cups of buttermilk. So I'm gonna start with two cups and then check the consistency. I like to use buttermilk because it's a little tangier, adds a little added flavor, adds a little flavor. Um, you might see that some recipes just call for milk. I like the buttermilk. If you just have milk at home on hand, take a cup of milk and add a little bit of vinegar, about a teaspoon of vinegar, let it sit for about a half hour, and then you have buttermilk. Okay, we can see that this batter is still way too thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and add almost all of that. Give it a whisk around. You want your pancake batter to be lumpy, so don't mix it until it's super smooth. Those lumps will lend to the airiness of your pancake once they're cooked. So I'm gonna add all this in. And one of the last things to go into your pancake batter is four tablespoons of melted butter. Melt that butter ahead of time to give it a chance to cool because we don't want to put super hot butter in here. So this is cooled and four tablespoons all melted. Scrape that in there. Okay, and mix that up. So remember, lumps are a good thing. I'm just blending the ingredients here. Okay, so it's not ready for the griddle yet. You wanna set this aside for about 20 minutes, let it rest, let all the good ingredients meld together, and then we can get to the griddle. So the batter sat for about 20 minutes, give it time to rest, and I have my skillet here that's been heating up, it's getting nice and hot. If you have a pancake griddle, you can use that as well, but I just have this skillet. The little pat of butter in there and have a paper towel on hand to spread that butter around and to also absorb any of the extra oil or extra butter that's on the bottom. You don't want pools of it. You just want it nice and greased. Okay, so depending on how big you want your pancakes depends on how much batter you want to put in it. I'm going to start with a ladle. A little bit more. And the pan's nice and hot, so I can hear it bubble a little, and that's what I want. So it'll just kind of spread out on its own. I have a little baby one right there. So you'll start to see bubbles that are starting to pop, um, kind of around the edges and in the middle. We will know to flip it when we have a lot of bubbles, and we want to flip it just before they all pop. So we have a lot of bubbles throughout the pancake. Some are starting to bust around the side. So I'm gonna give it a flip. I check for the color underneath. It looks pretty good. Get that big spatula underneath there and flip. All right, the pancake is done. Out onto the plate. And don't forget the mini. And that is how to make pancakes. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see me prepare any other recipes, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com and in the meantime, check out our other videos.